Man, we made it to the weekend and we get to jump on into it together as a Feel Good Breakfast Show family, forgive me. Now, this morning, I'm excited, right? Because we are going to be eating some delicious food and it is courtesy of a lady who has done absolutely beautiful things on MasterChef Essay. I'm talking about a queen who, in fact, yes, did not take home the trophy, but she showed her passion, she showed her talent, and she left her mark because she was like no other contestant, bringing in a different flavor. And honestly and truly, you're going to find out exactly what it is in the best way possible this morning, Expresso family. Please, can we welcome to you, your Feel Good Breakfast Show family. It is Ketsia Malela. <laughs> How are you, Ketsia? I'm good. I'm good. I'm That's good. good. Yeah, uh, you look you? beautiful this morning. Thank you. Oh Thank my you. goodness, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I, I feel like it's always so difficult to put yourself out there and be like, you know what, I'm entering a competition. But you did it, and you did it so beautifully as well because you took this fusion of you now using, you know, sort of American recipes mm -hmm. along with adding South African flavors. What inspired that? Um, so I spent uh, two years in the States um, and I was introduced to a lot of cuisines like Mexican cuisine, um, Jamaican cuisine, yeah. and then kind of your stereotypical American cuisine. Mm. And growing up in a Congolese household, that was also um, a different introduction to food. So it, mm. it's just, I've been able to kind of capture different um, things that I like from all the different cuisines and yeah. make it my own. I love that. that. You literally like made up your own genre of food, if you exactly. will. Yeah. It's amazing. But what made you actually decide, you know what, I want to enter MasterChef? So I started my uh, TikTok account a year ago mm -hmm. um, and um, foodbaby.za yeah. and it did really well. Within the first three months, I gained about 10,000 followers. So sure. And then um, now a year later, I'm at 55,000. Wow. So um, MasterChef came along and I was like, um, I kind of wanted the validation. I had this page and it was doing really well and mm -hmm. I thought, who else better to enter than somebody who's been able to create her own platform or for food? I must be good enough, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, I gave it a try and apparently I was. Amazing. That's yeah. what you were. And I absolutely love it for you because, like I said, it really can be quite the task to sometimes say, hey, you know what? I'm going to enter this competition. But exactly. you did. But yeah. I also want to then just go back to the journey that got you to having your own genre of food. Mm -hmm. You know, was there a time or even a specific dish while you were living in the States that kind of made you be like, oh, actually, this is where the money is. This is where I actually am finding my niche, you know? Mm -hmm. Was there a specific time? Um, so when I lived in the States, the family I lived with were originally from Jamaica. Uh -huh. And so I was then introduced to Jamaican food and it was primarily the um, jerk chicken yes. and then the, um, the oxtail curry. Ooh. And then from there, I was like, OK, these are very interesting flavors, like the pimento that's used. Yes. Um, and I was kind of introduced to a different flavor profile. Yeah. But it also still reminded me of my Congolese culture as well. Oh. So it was interesting to be able to take that away from a different culture and kind of see the connections. Wow. Uh, and Ketia, that really is such a beautiful thing, I think, mm -hmm. because that's what we're meant to do when we go to other countries, right? We're meant to immerse ourselves. And the fact that it's now, you know, landed you where you are, where yeah. your career is literally based off of being inspired by that. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Also, please, will you make me some oxtail curry, please? <laughs> my goodness, that sounds amazing. No, it's delicious. Oh, my goodness. But now speak to me about this, because I'm hearing little murmurs mm -hmm. that you might be wanting to open an eatery. Is this true? Um, so in, when I did um, enter MasterChef, yeah. if I won, the plan was to open some sort of like chicken shop because we don't have that in South Africa mm. um, with just like different flavors of like fried chicken. Yes. Um, so obviously without the money at this point, I'm kind of leaning towards eventually starting something that's just on Uber Eats. Okay. So yeah. Amazing. And, and speak to me a little bit about this, right? Mm -hmm. Of course you had your journey on MasterChef. You guys had to create an array of dishes. What's one dish that you wish you had created while you were still there? You know, something that maybe you were keeping in your arsenal being like, ah, I'm going to shopper them with this one. Um, I don't think I have a dish that I wanted to, that I didn't feel like I got the chance to, ah, yes. to showcase because mm. I still have my platform and I'm able to showcase 
things that aren't necessarily fine dining, yes. but make me happy. So I've been able to still continue to showcase my food with or without the show. Beautiful. And today you're getting to showcase it for Mzansi. So please tell us, what are you going to be taking us through? Um, so um, I don't know if you guys remember, but at one point McDonald's had the filet of fish mm -hmm. um, It's been discontinued. So I ended up creating almost like a Louisiana style hot fish sandwich mm, or burger. Yes. So yeah, that's what I'll make. Ah, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Okay. I know Expresso family, your taste buds are already just being tantalized and we're going to be finding out how it is that we can actually make this delicious dish that Kitsia was talking about. And of course it is from her and her delicious recipe. So stick around for it because we're going to be jumping on into the kitchen. For now though, I need you to stick around as well because there's a whole lot more coming up right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Next week, on MasterChef South Africa. You have a state-of-the-art air fryer. Cook the best dish of the day and you will get a chance to cook off against one of South Africa's best-selling cookbook authors and celebrity chef for a chance to win this. All of us are after that immunity pin. Oh, no. MasterChef South Africa, every Saturday on S3 at 7.30.